Well, good afternoon and welcome to Ed's Orchids. Now, uh, oh, I've been busy today doing all sorts of stuff. I didn't think I did in me. I thought I'd uh, I'd never get through all the work I were doing, what with washing and ironing and changing the bed and lifting mattresses and coming in the greenhouse and sorting out the uh, the greenhouse. Ah, I've never thought I'd finished. Anyhow, that's besides the point. What I have done is I've cleaned the greenhouse up and I've uh, made room to bring the uh, cymbidiums in. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a good look at the cymbidiums. Now, with them being outside all the time, I'm just wondering if there's any bugs in them or anything like that. So, uh, what I propose to do is to uh, pick a couple of them, have a look at them, unpot them, and uh, I'll be careful with them because uh, I'll be really gentle and uh, the plants will not know that, that, that they've been repotted. And uh, I'll see if there's any bugs or slugs or anything around. But if there is nothing in those two, I will not do the others. But uh, So I'll pick a couple and uh, we'll get started. Now we're tidying up, I've got all this space under here now. Big cymbidium there. So I suppose I've got sort of uh, 14 to 12 feet, 12 feet by uh, 2 feet wide to put the plants. But what do I do with the plants after they've been outside all winter in all sorts of weather? Do I have a look at the roots to see if there's any slugs in? Or what do I do? Time to make my mind up. I think I'll check a couple and if they're all right I'll leave the rest and then I'll just uh, line them up in these spaces just to uh, just to see what happens. But uh, if anybody's any other ideas what to do I'll welcome them. Well I've had a good look at them and I think uh, these are the two I've chosen just have a look at. Both of them got new growth on but I want to just check in the pots to make sure they're alright. I'll be very gentle with them, I won't disturb the roots unless they need disturbing. And if everything's alright, the uh, the plants will never... The first one is a no neighbour as usual, made with cymbidiums. It's got one, two, three pseudobulbs and one little growth here. You know, as that grows and grows, yeah, that will develop a pseudobulb with a better look. Well, let's have a look in here. These have been outside since oh, almost spring. Well, they're still wet through. Still wet through. Nice new growth on them. Nice new growth on the roots. Some more nice new growth coming out here. So I'll just get the uh, scissors and I'll start nipping off the uh, the dead ones. Well, I said there were three pseudobulbs on here. There's actually four. There's one here that's virtually buried. It's still as hard as a rock, so that should be alright. But we'll just trim all these dead roots off now. This gives the plant a fighting chance. And, uh, there's quite a few of them. Uh, we'll get them all off eventually. Just work our way around. Take all the loose stuff off to make them look better. Can't see any sign of any uh, problems with bugs or anything. Another one there. And try and chop them off as close to the uh, as close to the Super Bowl as I can. And I'll, I'll pop them up 
in some fresh uh, fresh water for her, uh, you know, tuck them away for winter. Come on, where are you? All these dead roots seem to be around the top. There's absolutely none at the bottom, I don't think. I mean, they're never very, very tidy plants, these, are they? You know, they're always... They're always straddly and all over the place. That's alright, that's alright. Oh, plenty here. These are all at the top, at the base of the pseudobulb. That one's alright. That one's not. That one's not. And that one's not alright. So we'll add that one off as well. And that one's okay. It's very soft in there, so... The, the silver bulbs hide. Now, I don't think there's any more dead uh, dead leaves. We've got plenty of new growth on, as you can see. So uh, oh, there's one there that's gone off as well. So I'll plant that one up in a minute, and we'll call that okay. I'll just do the other one and get rid of all the. Uh, the rubbish off here. Well, if this has got no bugs in, then that saves me a big job looking at all the others. This has got four suitables and a nice new growth coming up. All. So let's have a look in the pot. Uh, look at those dead roots there. You see them all? It's going to take me ages to clean those up. So I'll do a bit and then uh, I'll come back to it and uh, we can have a look how much I've done at it. Well there are so many bad roots on here and I can't reach them. I'm just having to avert to pulling them and uh, exposing the actual uh, root, which is that little bit of uh, string in there, and, uh, and then cutting all them off. It's a heck of a job. Almost just solid root. But we'll do what we can. There's another one. Let's keep pulling them out of the middle. Let them slide off. With these being outside all the time, they're uh, absolutely wet through so well. Let them dry off a bit. I'll slip all these, uh, all these other roots off now. And uh, call that a day, I think. And there's some round here, yeah. Let's pull them off. Plenty of uh, new roots here, so uh, 
I don't want to disturb them really. Yeah, I'm not a real lover of cymbidiums, but uh, these are refusing to uh, go away. But uh, so I might as well uh, bring them in and see what happens. But I do love them when they do. Uh, you've got some beautiful blooms on them. Right, there's another soft one there. It doesn't look soft, but it is. So just give it a pull. And then cut the roots off. Another one there. You know, you can carry on all day like this. There's so many roots on this one that uh, I don't think I'll have a get to a point where I've cut every root off. So I think the best bet now is to uh, get these two potted up into some fresh bark and, uh, and then let them carry on and do what they want to do. So that's what we'll do. Nice plant, you must admit, but uh, no name for them. I know one of them I've got is a, uh, oh I forgot the name of it, but it's a chocolate coloured variety, Cymbidium. Uh, so uh, I'll look it up on the web, I keep meaning to do so, but I, I keep forgetting. Ah, it's forgetting something to do with age, you know. I don't know. Maybe Roger knows. Oh, we've got a nice mixture of bark here. Some large bark, small bark, raw stones, perlite. And it's a mixture of everything like that. So that should be fine, I think, for some videos. Right, let's start and get it done. Put that in there and then, then we know where we are. This is the one I'm putting in here. It's got some nice roots, but not a very good root system. Uh, it's got a backbone here that's been buried, but it's rock hard, so I'm going to leave it. And uh, so I'll just pop this one up. And let this go into its new home for the, uh, the winter. Nice and firm, and that's that one done. Now this is the one with the uh, very nice roots, as you can see there. Uh, four suitables on it, and I'm just wondering whether to put it in a bigger pot. But it just fits nicely in there, and they do like being root bound a little bit, so. I'll leave it for this year. I just hope they come on in, uh, in winter indoors. Because they'll be well looked after. But uh, again, 
Ama ne oluş? Bu şey biliyoruz. Bu 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 şey. A good grower, a voltage should be able to grow anything. So uh, we will see. And I don't class myself as a good grower anymore. I used to be, but uh, I seem to have lost my touch in a lot of things. The main thing is to be honest with yourself, isn't it? That's the two done. So we'll leave the others. They're not a bug in sight. Not a bug in sight anywhere. No mealy bugs on the leaves. Nothing in the bark. So uh, I think they're doing very well. This is the one with the two uh, flower spikes on, and I'm hoping this is the uh, the one, the chocolate coloured one with the species. So uh, I'll just show you the, oh, get the camera, nice and slowly, and I'll just show you the spikes on it. That's the biggest one. I've just put a stick there to get it going up straight, and uh, the other one's over there, which is not quite big enough to stay yet. So, uh, I'm hoping that's been flowered, sort of, uh, in the winter time, or just coming up spring. Well that's where the Simbidiums are going to lift till uh, next spring, uh, they look alright there, they've got plenty of room and if need be I've got some uh, Morris Hydro light there that'll come on. I've, in fact, this Morris is alright, it's a nice story about this, what a great company this is, this Morris Hydro, because uh, this light I've got here just flickers, flickers, flickers a bit and a little bit annoying so uh, they sort of contacted me and saying uh, how are you going on with that light and I told them it was flickering and before I knew anything else they sent me a new one so I haven't unboxed it yet so I'm waiting till uh, we get closer to winter but what a great thing to do what a good name for the company Morris Hydro fabulous anyhow I, di I digress these will stay here and uh, I'm saying we've got lights on, we've got that Morris Hydro light there and I've got Growlux light in there that I used to use for the uh, aquariums so they won't be short of light. On here is mostly Phragmopediums and they're doing alright. We've got one here, this is in spikes uh, and then we've got the Mazdebelias and a few odds and sods all the way down here but still got all this space yet left yet about seven feet by two feet so uh, that's plenty of room for some more might be some more phalaenopsis who knows because i'm going to that gentleman's again tomorrow and uh, i'm going to get some more shillerianums Shil off him he said he has three or four so i'm going to get another two so until then, thank you very much for watching and uh, until I put the next video on, I'll see you next time. Thank you for all the comments that I had on the last video, absolutely marvellous and uh, I only wish the subscribers would work the same way. So thanks very much for watching and until next time, wish you all the best, happy growing and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.